What is up, Tube of the U? It's your boy Marcus Jones. This is Jonesin' for Pokemon, and today we are Jonesin' for some Battle Styles goodness. Now, in this month's 30 for 30, where we're doing 30 Pokemon videos in 30 days, we have been breaking down booster boxes and separating them by pack or work to see which ones are best. So, with Battle Styles, this will not be any different. So, we have separated all four artworks the Rapid Strike Urshifu, the Single Strike Urshifu, the Empoleon, and the Tyranitar, and we're gonna see which of the four artworks come out with the most hits today we're gonna start off with the rapid strike urshifu packs now we got 10 right over here so we're gonna see if we can get any hits for the rapid strike and then in the next three days we're gonna be opening up the other artworks let me know down in the comments below which of the four artworks are your favorite and which one has the best pulls for you so far because i feel like people do have some preferences when it comes to choosing booster pack artworks myself included in all of the recent sets i could tell you which artwork has been my most lucky one so you know what we're gonna start off with the rapid strike urshifus we're still missing a bunch of cards from battle styles the pull rates have been rough but let's get into it here first pack hopefully we can get some hits from rapid strike oh folks that was okay code card right there that was backwards well uh green code cards for battle styles aren't where it's gonna be at there is no really good hits in the reverse hollow slot unless you're a fan of a certain pokemon and then maybe you might get the reverse hollow but there is gonna be no hits like in shining fates so there we go reverse hollow spiro and then for the rare non hollow marowak but as i was saying in the reverse hollow slots like even in vivid voltage you can get the amazing rares Unfortunately, Battle Styles doesn't have anything that good in the reverse holo slot. Code card right there. So that one was actually better. It wasn't flipped over. But let's see as we get into pack number two. Fighting Energy. Hopefully fighting its way to victory. Will we get any alt art cards? Maybe a full art trainer, a full art Pokemon. A rainbow would be nice. But let's see. We got Timba. We got reverse holo Cacnea. And then for the rare, non Hollow licky licky and maybe we're starting off with the rapid strikes because maybe subconsciously i'm thinking to myself that the rapid strike won't have the best pulls but we're gonna see what we could get here S eight packs remaining so i mean if we go 0 for 10 um rapid strike might not be where it's at anymore we did pull the rapid strike urshifu v max inside of a venusaur pack if you guys haven't seen that video uh venusaur v max box that was absolutely wild there is two uh, battle style packs in that box and I got lucky enough to pull it but here we go we got Galarian Slowbro which is a rare and then for the rare non hollow Min Shao. so not even a hollow rare yet going on to pack number four this has been rough I know battle styles the rates have been a pretty bad code card right there but hopefully we could turn that around right now uh, Chilling Rain was not any better Chilling Rain was actually worse for me Thunder Energy hopefully bring the thunder but yeah, Battle Styles has been um, bad, but Chilling Rain has been even worse, if you can believe it or not. Hopefully Evolving Skies is going to be where it is at. So Kingdra Reverse Hollow, which is a rare. And then for the rare, we got a Corviknight V Ultra Rare card. Definitely one of the most common Ultra Rares to pull in the set. Corviknight V Focus. But that is a pretty cool card. Still looking for the rainbow of Corviknight. Corviknight V Max Rainbow would be sick. But let's grab a sleeve here. Let's sleeve it up first. Ultra Rare. So we didn't totally get skunked in the 10 packs. Corviknight V. Let's set you off right there. So we are getting a couple of reverse hollow rares. So far, no hollows, no V Maxes, and no secret rares. Will we get any more hits in this? let us see code card right there could we go back to back that would be pretty sick but let's see are you guys done with battle styles um do you still have a bunch to pull are you waiting for it to go down we have a sleeping onyx we got here spiro i know the prices of battle styles are going down which is encouraging so maybe you guys are waiting for the prices to really plummet and then pick up some cards which is pretty smart on your end so we have here vivalon reverse hollow is this another rare back to back to back Reverse hollow rares, that is three. And then for the rare, all right, back to back ultra rares. There we go, single strike Urshifu V. That is what I'm talking about. So back to back pulls. I mean, we got a single strike inside of a rapid strike pack. That is pretty funny. But you know what? Back to back ultra rares, and we have back to back to back reverse hollow rares. How many packs do we have left? We have five packs. So that was the midway point and two ultra rares. So. I mean, the last two packs definitely saved the Rapid Strike name. But could we get anything else? Midway point, maybe a hollow. Um, for 10 packs, I feel like two Ultra Rares and a hollow would be pretty good pull rates for 
Battle styles, they have been rough. We got Frillish, Hound Hour, Scatterbug, Hone Edge. We have Gligar, Reverse, Hollow, Mawile. That is a sick Reverse Hollow. You got the little teeth right there in the hair. Mawile is a pretty sick Pokemon. And then for the rare, non Hollow Claydol. Back down to reality where not every pull can be an ultra rare. I was about to say we have a Rapid Strike pack. They're all Rapid Strike packs, all 10 of them. All right, so let's see. If you had to choose between Rapid Strike and Single Strike, what team do you lie with? I am a Single Strike fan. Um, a bunch of the cards that are Single Strike in Battle Styles are my favorite. Obviously, the Gold Houndoom is a Single Strike. Bruno the Trainer is Single Strike. We got here Reverse Hollow, Sardwad, and Shieldbat for the, that is not a rare. And then for the rare, non hollow Electrovire. Snorlax also a single strike in Chilling Rain. So I mean, single strike is definitely my team to go with if I had to choose between the two. Let's see what we got. Code card right there. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I don't even know if I mentioned that on the first pack, but hopefully you guys are all having a great day. If you're not, hopefully it gets better after this video. Let me know how your day is going too. If you guys have opened up any Pokemon cards, let me know what you guys got in the comments below. I love to hear all your guys' pulls. So Reverse Hollow Luxray, which is, folks, of course, another rare. Oh, was that some... Oh, folks, was that... Is that some shine or is that just a hollow bleed? Oh boy, we might have something here. So Luxray Reverse Hollow and then for the rare. Oh, we got duped. Non hollow Galarian Slowbro. So what card was that on? Oh, was that... Uh, I think it was on both. Look at that. Oh yeah, I think it's just whitening, but I thought it would be hollow bleed. Oh, my heart, folks. My heart. I thought we had something good, but so far, no true bangers, just a couple of regular Vs, which means the other three artworks are looking pretty good right about now, but we have two packs left. Could we get any more hits, hollow rares, or better in these two packs? If not, it is looking good for the other artworks. Let's see, four to the front. We got here, ooh, darkness energy. We have Tool Jammer, Bruxish. Definitely, hopefully we could pull that Full Art Morpeko. Uh, Morpeko, I, did we just see Morpeko? Why would I say Morpeko? We got a Yamper and Slowpoke. Um, no, hopefully we pull the Mimikyu. Mimikyu Full Art is what we are after. Murkrow, uh, my favorite common artwork. Murkrow standing in the graveyard. That is such a sick looking card. We have here Reverse Hollow Chidubi. And then for the rare, we got a Necrozma. V so three ultra rares all three common V cards not the first time we pulled that folks but we are gonna sleeve you up nevertheless how are you Necrozma V that is pretty cool but like I said three ultra rares three ultra rare V cards final pack here for rapid strike I mean pull wise three out of nine is pretty good um, but I feel like if we get some V maxes and some full arts in the other card, a uh, code card right there, in the other pack artworks, those ones might take it, but you're gonna have to let me know after these four artworks, which ones reign supreme. So we got here, Carnivine, Cubone, Murkrow standing in the graveyard. Hopefully you guys have a great day as we get into this final pack. Um, let's see here. We got reverse hollow Bronzong, folks, you already know it. That is another reverse hollow rare, which was, I think our fifth one. So Half of the packs were reverse hollow rares. They have been haunting me in this set. And then for the final card of today's video, we have a <laughs> hollow bronzong. We have twins, Basil. Twins. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. I'm looking for three and a half likes. If you guys haven't already subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button down below. Hopefully you have a good one. And remember, at the end of the day, we're all just jonesing for Pokemon. Catch you in the next video.